and if there's any cuts or scrapes or smudges on it, it's got to go. Scrap. This room is work. So basically all we do is, after we cut them, we'll just take them and pull them apart. It's pretty simple. Each of these headrests are imperfect, and men like Johnny Hackworth are paid to break them down so they can be put together again. And just polish them up real good and get all the smudges off of it. A fresh start. The same thing Hackworth needed 11 months ago. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. At 40 years old, honestly, it's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But it's been worth every minute. By now, it's probably clear this isn't an auto plant. It just kind of gives you a sense of hope just being up here, knowing that you can work and, and not have to worry about the stresses of getting high in general. At Isaiah House, Hackworth works every day, gets paid, so when he leaves the security of these walls, he's got money. And our typical client will leave here with three to four thousand dollars in their pocket. Which is unusual. It's extremely unusual. Yeah. Yeah. There's no other treatment program that I'm aware of that does that. But this man will tell you so, what's offered here is more valuable than cash. Come on this way. There is room for just 88 men here. We have about a three month waiting list. Yeah. How hard is that from your perspective to make people wait? Yeah, we've had people die on the waiting list. Yeah, um, yeah, and, and it's, yeah, I tear up on it. I mean, it's just horrible. It shouldn't be that way. This is a typical dorm. Mark LaPalm took us on a tour of his invention, a religious community to rehabilitate addicts. We saw where they sleep. Being yourself is the best way to ever fit in. Where they study. I can be sober and be happy. Where they work and how they bond. As addicts, we're lonely, you know, and it, it takes coming to recovery that realize that how lonely we were. Tearing down and building back up is La Palm's philosophy, but treatment drugs are not. There is no easy answer. There's not an easy fix. There's no pill that you can throw at it. And so we've got to just really dig in there with them and help them with each of every little piece of life that got destroyed by their addiction. It's not just about getting sober here. It's about getting your head on straight. And realizing that starting over is possible when you examine all the pieces and put it back together again. It, it all ties in together. God brings everything together here for you if you just pay attention.